Hello, my name is Arno Smets. I'm a professor in the Photovoltaics Materials and Devices group at the Delft University of Technology. Welcome to the second course in our MicroMaster series, Solar Energy Engineering. This second course is called Photovoltaic Technologies. We advise you to take the PV1X Photovoltaic Energy Conversion course before starting this course. In this course, you will learn all about the design, processing and characterization of the different PV technologies as well as their advantages and limitations. Let me first introduce the lecturers for this course. I have already introduced myself, Professor Arno Smets, and I will be accompanied by Associate Professor René van Zwaai. René and I are professors at the Delft University of Technology and work in the Photovoltaic Materials and Devices group. Our group has expertise in teaching and research in all aspects of photovoltaics, from fundamentals to device fabrication and full system design. The course Photovoltaic Technologies is split into five parts. After a short introduction, the first two weeks will be about crystalline silicon. In week three, we will discuss the most important techniques used to characterize the performance of solar cells. Then, in week four, we will look into the processing techniques used for thin films. Next, we will spend three weeks discussing the different thin film technologies themselves. Finally, in week eight, we will look at the advantages and limitations of different technologies and we will discuss some hybrid solar cells that combine multiple PV technologies. Let's go all of these five sections in a bit more detail. The first two weeks are all about the technology that dominates the PV industry, crystalline silicon. You will learn about the material properties of silicon and we will follow the production process from the raw material all the way to a finished cell and even to the integration of multiple cells into a module. The most important part of this section covers the design consideration to obtain an ideal open circuit voltage short circuit current density and fill factor for a crystalline silicon solar cell. You will gain an in-depth understanding of the clever design tricks implemented to optimize these solar cell parameters. Over the years, many design concepts have been introduced, some of which have actually made it to large-scale production. In the last part of this section, we have selected some advanced concepts for you that held record efficiencies or had a big impact in the field. By, by the end of these two weeks, you will understand why crystalline silicon still dominates the solar cell markets as of today from a technical point of view. After the crystalline silicon section, we will discuss the characterization of solar cells. You will discover that the characterization of the performance of solar cells is an art itself. It is essential to understand how solar cells and modules are characterized to fully understand the practical value of the results. What are the typical standard test conditions? And how do these conditions relate to modules in real outdoor conditions? In addition, a basic understanding of the characterization of solar cell is of great importance when reliability of modules will be discussed in the PV3X course PV systems. In the third part of the PV2X course, we discuss the processing techniques used for thin film PV technologies. These deposition tools are inherently different from the bulky wafer-based fabrication processes used for the crystalline silicon. The techniques used to process a material can strongly affect the properties of the deposited material. In this section you will create an in-depth understanding of the most important tools used for the deposition of the different PV technologies discussed in this course. In the fourth section of this course we will discuss the most important thin film technologies. We will spend three weeks on the thin films in which you will learn all about thin film silicon calcosionides like the 2.6 technology cadmium telluride and the 1.3.6 technology CIGS, the 3.5 technology gallium arsenide and some organic PV technologies like organic polymers, dye-sensitized solar cells and perovskites. Each of these technologies have their specific advantages and disadvantages in some respect. In this section you will learn about the material properties, module architectures, 
advantages and limitations of all these PV technologies. In the final section of this course, we will combine and compare the different PV technologies. In this section, will, you will obtain the skills you need as an engineer to decide which solar cells work best in what situation. We'll compare the performance of the different PV technologies in terms of their niche markets and market shares. We will discuss their upscaling potential in industry and their projected learning curves for the near future. Finally, we will discuss hybrid solar cells. In these hybrid concepts, different PV technologies are combined in order to produce very high performance or very cheap solar cells. We recommend following along in this course with our textbook Solar Energy, Physics and Engineering of Photovoltaic Conversion Technologies and Systems. This textbook is available as a free ebook for any e-reader on Amazon. Hard copies are also available for purchase at Amazon.com as well as other retailers. Now, the assessment. Following most of the video lectures, you will find exercises to apply your new gained knowledge. These exercises are meant to test and improve your understanding of the concepts discussed in the videos. So try the exercises and don't be afraid to make a mistake. All the weekly exercises combined count for 15% toward your final grade. The practice exam counts towards 5% of your final grade and is meant for students to practice and get familiar with the format of the proctored exam. The proctored exam is only available to the ID verified students and counts for 80% towards your final grade. You can qualify for the PV2X verified certificate by achieving a minimum final score of 65%. Besides the regular content, PV2X also in features a live webinar similar like PV1X in which you can interact live with the course team. The webinar generally includes a behind the scenes tour at the Delft University of Technology, an interview with a titan of industry and an interactive discussion in which the course team treats the issues introduced by the students. Look for more information in the webinar ta tab on the Getting Started Week. The ID verified students will have access to the exciting challenges. The challenges are topical issues where the course team interacts with the ID verified students. Each challenge will receive a feedback video. You can find the challenges in the MicroMasters community tab at the end of each week. All the information provided in this video can be found in the course syllabus as well. On behalf of the entire Photovoltaic Materials and Devices team here at the Delft University of Technology, I'm very excited to provide this course for you. I hope you are ready to go jump right in and become an expert on the varied landscape of photovoltaic technologies.